couple of the stars of his defense, Marcus Bailey and Lorenzo Neal joining us. And guys, this defense did take a little bit of a step back last season after you guys were so good two years ago. So how do you get it back to, to where it was? I'm interested for both of you. Marcus, you can start. Yeah, um, I think it just starts with the little things every day. Uh, coming to work every single day, making sure we're, we're having a, a directed effort of getting better every day, working on the fundamentals, playing fast, playing hard, playing to win. Uh, it all starts there and then just taking coaching every day and learning the new system and playing smarter. Um, so many factors go, go into it, but I think we are, we're on the right track so far this season. Lorenzo? Yeah, like Marcus said, I think we had a lot of inexperience last year, and, and sometimes it showed, but I think this year we're preaching that we want to turn that around and we want to have these young guys, rather than be afraid to make a mistake, go out there and make a play and, and kind of put the team on your back as individuals, as, as a 111th, as a young guy, and we think that's really important as far as competing this year. Lorenzo, you're coming off a knee injury. You weren't out there today. Bring us up to date on your progress and your recovery. Yeah, I'm making good progress. A lot of it is me doing what the doctors and the training staff allow me to do and just taking it one day at a time and trying to improve every day. You know, I'm not, I'm not stressing and I'm not going to go out and panic, but a lot of it is just making progress. Marcus, you've made a ton of progress in your time here, so much so that you had a decision to make last year as to whether or not to return what ultimately swayed you to come back for another year? Yeah. Um, so, you know, with the way that the bowl game had ended, um, just left a terrible taste in my mouth. I didn't want to go out my last season being remembered with that being my last performance if I could um, had a chance to come back and contribute to Purdue continuing on its um, elevation of success going forward. So, um, you know, I wanted to come be a part of something special still and finish out my career well. Marcus, you mentioned the decision, or Dave asked you about the decision you needed to make coming back. What were some of the physical things that you maybe wanted to work on and get better at to make the entire linebacker group better? Yeah, so I just want to continue to get better at, um, you know, my fundamentals, um, you know, getting off blocks, block destruction, and open field tackling. I think sometimes I could um, maybe was a little bit too hesitant. Now, now that all the experience that I've had, I can be more confident and trigger more and help the guys around me play faster and just, um, you know, get everyone lined up and give everyone that uh, that sense of confidence. Um, you know, that I've had the most experience and. Just helping them, just trying to uplift the entire defense and the entire linebacker room, like you said. Any personal goals you have as well? Just play as hard as I can and win as many games as we can this year. You know, it's interesting being at this camp. It, it's similar to last year in that you guys had a conference game as your opener. You had a really big game against Northwestern. Once again, this year, right off the bat, you know, a lot of teams kind of ease into their schedule. I mean, you guys go to Nevada, you've got Vanderbilt, you got TCU, some really challenging games. How does that change? preseason camp is it a sense of urgency just is, is that a little bit different marcus um no i don't think it changes our approach i, I think you know, we, we always talk about being a, a one game season i think that's the same approach that's going to be we where everything we do right now is focused on on nevada um and so we're going to keep that approach lorenzo the notion yeah. of needing to start fast i think it's really important for us in camp to to have a, a culture of competition and make sure that every position is, is pushing each other to do better across the ball and even on the same sides within rooms. And I think a lot of that is going to have a lot to do with our success this year because you want you want everybody to kind of be looking over their shoulder at a certain extent because you want everybody to say, if I slack off and if I don't come out here and practice as well as I can, I might not be the one this week. I might not be the two this week. And I think that's going to help us going into the season because everyone knows everybody spots up for grabs. So everything you do in practice matters and counts, and I think that will help us in the season. Renzo Neal, Marcus Bailey, thanks a lot, guys. Have a great season. Appreciate you. Thanks.